one of the things that I was I was kind of interested in too. I've been thinking about this for a while. Uh, just curious, and since you talk to a lot more people about this stuff than than I ever have, um, what what is kind of your sense of in, in the development community how how many people are on the TDD bus and how many people are really anti test? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I want to say most of our clients are on the TDD bus. Uh, most of the companies that we talk to and we don't end up working with because of technical reasons is because they don't see the value in tests. So um, they probably don't allow their programmers to spend the time writing the tests or maintaining the test suite they're just like no you need to ship this fast you need to ship it tomorrow and i don't want you to work on in tests that takes more time so don't do it so unfortunately there are a lot of people out there that are like that and yeah it's it sucks you know if you are a developer an engineer who's in a team like that um you probably need to find another job you know we're hiring <laughs> <laughs> so uh if you're interested in technical debt, you know, check out our, our website or find another company that really cares about that that sort of stuff. Um because something like that is like a culture problem and it's not gonna change if they just switch the manager. Hopefully it does, but sometimes there are like non-technical managers that just don't get it. And, and anyway, they kind of create this toxic culture. And we usually don't work with those clients. Have you ever had any success? And I mean, no naming of names, but taking a, a company who was really kind of at eh, tests, we don't care to, oh yeah, we see the value now. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not a great salesperson. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm an engineer. And as I said, I'm still working on on improving my my sales skills to say, hey, you should be writing more tests. You should be doing TDD. Um, and I, I think I need to focus on on the the benefits at a business level, as in, you know, turnaround of your engineering team is going to go down. Um, velocity is going to go down. You're going to ship things faster. Instead of taking two weeks, you're going to take hopefully two days, three days. Um, you're going to be less exposed to risks, to CVEs, to security vulnerabilities, uh, because you're going to be, you know, testing a lot more and you're going to be testing better and you're going to come up with better CI tools that will, you know, look for vulnerabilities in your code. Um, but no, I, I'm not that good at, at selling that. I've actually, I always tell my friends that, I, I try, you know, I try to say, <laughs> Hey, uh, your test suite is not good. We can't work on your upgrade project. We're happy to improve the test suite and bring you up to like 50% code coverage, but it's going to cost you four weeks and it's going to, you know, at the end of the day, you get code that's going to help your test suite get better, but I never converted anything like that. <laughs> Nobody ever took me up on that offer. <laughs> I'll let you know once that happens. Uh, <laughs> that that'd be interesting to hear. Yeah, because I've always wondered how you know, kind of how how entrenched that thinking is, that anti-test thinking, um, especially from the business side of things, because I know they see it as just a money sink. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, something I'd be interested to follow up on. Um, if you like this clip and want to watch another one, you can click right here, or if you want to watch the full video, you can click here.